Alright. Back to Ghost Master. We're picking up in Act 2. As you've seen from last time, when we started Act 2, uh, we've been given some additional haunters. Who's ready? Who's ready to meet our new friends? First of all, we have Hypnos here. Not every ghost was once of flesh and blood. Hypnos used to be a dream until the dreamer died whilst sleeping. This is our first Sandman type ghost. Its fetter is sleeping and bedroom. Originally it used to be beds, but they changed it to bedroom for I'm assuming ease of using it. Uh, a victim of someone else's death? Yeah. So, what. Like, we have. You can get an idea of what the uh, Sandman do by looking at their powers. Like, we don't need a second Sandman to compare. Learn the details of a sleeping mortal's subconscious fears, making them known. Makes a group of mortals apprehensive. Learn all the details of a sleeping mortal's fears, making subconscious and conscious fears known. Illusion messes with a mortal's mind and may cause them to become interested in the haunter's feather. So, I guess that's meant to like lure people to go sleepy, eepy deepy. Speaking of which, sleep puts a mortal to sleep. Or reading reveals the conscious fears of a group of mortals. Sleepwalk causes a mortal to sleepwalk, making them oblivious to ghosts. Sandmen may use this to roam. This is going to be important later on. Dream Demon uses what is known of a sleeping mortal's fears to create terrifying nightmares. Psychotic Rage Mortal suffers extreme madness and becomes angry. Expose fears reveals all the fears of every mortal present, including their subconscious fears. So, yeah. Sandmen are based around s Sleepy Deepy, Honk Shu, the Honk Shu class. Got here, Buck. Old Man Carter's faithful hound refused to let death separate him from his mortal friend. Similarly, Buck's generous cargo of fleas refused to let death separate them from his matted fur. Buck is a horde type guy, so he has like the usual. Something that I've learned about hordes is that mostly like, their swarms hit on different categories of fears. Now, you're not going to be able to tell from Buck, because Clatterclaws and Buck both capitalize on Creepy Crawly. Like, Scattered Swarm for Clatterclaws and Scattered Swarm for Buck do the, the same thing. They hit fear of bugs. But we will get up to other uh, haunters in the horde category who uh, they do they hit different. Rain Dancer, we've unlocked through you know 
we, we, again, we're mostly sticking to the vanilla butts. Like vanilla bubbies. We will get to these wonderful complete edition ghosts. But, uh, I'm, I'm sticking with what I'm most familiar with for now. We have Quiver. He is the last spook we can unlock. So we get all of our spook flavor ghosts in pretty quick. Quiver is terrified of anything and everything, including itself. But in the same way that it takes a thief to catch a thief, sometimes it takes the scared to scare. So, like other spooks, he's got, like, you know, stuff that just does little prank type stuff, but he's got Tremor. Because, you know, he's so scared, he's shaken. He's got a, like, a mix between strange fishing and wild geese, which is fool's errand, but for, like, a huge group of people. Insane invitation. A distant voice calls softly to mentally unhinged mortals, drawing them closer. So, if you have mortals with amounts of madness above zero, it, it's more effective on them. Thinks gives mortal bad luck temporarily. Gore turns water into blood. Or spooky surprise. So, alright, that's three of our new dudes, with the rest in the basement. Peculiar, I could have sworn there was more than, like, three new guys introduced. Let me just, uh, take a quick look. Uh, just, yeah, I'm, I'm, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, just taking a quick look through my own footage. Like a hack fraud. Hack fraud that I am. Oh, okay, no, you do only just get three guys for Act 2. Huh. Well. Those are our guys that we've learned about. We learned about our three guys. Uh, I did a little bit off-stream. Mostly just, uh... Trying to see what I can do about the frame rate. The frame rate should mostly be fixed. So I have a little bit more gold plasm than I ordinarily would. Plasm.
Rain Dancer has access to hailstones. Bards the ground with hailstones. Buck up to the level with Clatter Claws. Because we're going to be using Buck a lot. Something that, like, Buck has over Clatter Claws is better inside, outside. For those of you who need to understand what that means, better. Yes! You put them down at anywhere. Clatter Claws, you're just stuck to inside. But... Uh, this is made up for by the fact that Buck only has Chase. Which affects Hunted Fear. Clatter Claws has access to Arboreal Prison. Or Legion. Ooh, now Legion is supposedly going to hit creepy crawly fear big time. Anyway... Decide what I want for next. Moon screen, what do you got? Alright, I'm gonna take shattered nerves. Yeah. And uh no not We're gonna be taking Lucky with us at some point. Not just because she's a good kid. So another thing is that, uh, in one of our previous missions, there is some alternate stuff that can happen. It requires a lot of very specific circumstances, but, you know, when I go through the high scares and work on showing off more stuff, I will show that off, but we got two choices for missions, and technically I think Deadfellows here is first, but for narrative purposes, <laughs> air quotes narrative, let's do the unusual suspects. The mortals of Gravenville are sorely shaken by your victories. Now you must capitalize on your successes by taking away their sense of security. Hell Street Precinct Station serves much of the city and is a bastion of order and civic duty. The perfect target. Empty it of all mortal presence, and you cannot fail to spread fear into the heart of the city. It's a cab time. So, 
We're gonna take Buck here because, come on, I, I just went over why Buck is ridiculously good. We are able to bring Hypnos with us, because someone's gonna be asleep. Someone's gonna hit us with the honk shoe. Take Whirlweird and... You know, Stonewall's not too good of a choice on this level most of the time. Actually, let's see what the recommended team is. So we got Thorn and Smoke and Joe, who, uh... I will not use Cog Jammer because there's a lot of electrical fetters. Stonewall. Alright, whoever well, whoever modified the recommend team knew what they were doing. Fair. Let's get, uh, let's see, Fascinate, Wrong Interest versus Intrigue. There's... There are restless spirits in this level, obviously. There's gonna be a few ways to handle it. Handle them. Uh, you can do, like, just an Ill inelegant brute force method, or you can do, like, a, uh, a more subtle one for each. So, clearly here I'm going with sort of brute forcing one, and mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking probably subtle for the other one. Let's get a wraith here, or no. Let's go whirlwind. Weird because there is, in fact, a child present. Empty Hell Street Precinct Station of all mortal presence. So, starting off, we have a pretty limited amount of plasm to work with, but let's let's go over our mortals. We got Captain F Captain like Frank Cervanti, uh, captain of the Hell Street uh, Precinct. Frank spends a great deal of time admiring his bonsai tree. Hmm. Wonder why that was mentioned. A dedicated and officious desk sergeant of the precinct station. Sergeant Stan Prosky has a recurring dream that he's Christy Howe's father. Or is it Christy Chase? Officer Russo has been working so hard for a promotion she, that she hasn't... That she isn't... Hasn't slept in days. Okay. Bit of a, uh... 
Bit of a typo there, but that's fine. We're familiar with Rousseau. She was present in the, the Calamityville Horror. Hmm. Norman Franz has been blocked from entering into the evidence room. Don't know why that is. We're familiar with Norman Franz. Hey, Cruz. Officer Cruz generally acts as the radio operator for Health Street Precinct. Andrew Hade. Officer Hayde has been bored stiff during his stint as the officer in charge of the evidence room. Pretty low willpower on some of these cops. Norman Franz, of course, we're familiar with. Nice. Officer Robin Sutton deals with the most of the duties in the processing room. Uh huh. Yeah. Doctor Klugman, the station's forensic pathologist, he has dissected too many cadavers to believe that ghosts exist. Well, you better start believing in ghosts, bud. Excuse me, citizen. Maybe you could help me. Seems that I was set up. The punks I was busting were waiting for me, guns in hand. I reckon their source is on the inside. A cop on the take, you know? I gotta know who it was. I'll bet he's having nightmares of being found out. I wonder how much my life was worth. So that... Kind of clues you in on, like, the brute force solution for Blue Murders is, uh... Puzzle. There's a bent cop somewhere in this precinct. Find out who it is, then bring him here. I think it would be a bit more interesting to show off the different layers of puzzling you can do. Let's learn about Blue Murder. A fan of over-the-top cop movie heroes such as McLean and Riggs, Blue was disappointed to find that she died rather easily when shot with a lethal weapon. Oh, Russo fell asleep for a brief moment. She is our last... Uh, Blue Murder is our last apparition. Agenta Quinn. Agenta is tired of being thought of as Riff Raff. Any banana eating going on here? Possibly. Ursula Kudrow. Ursula's been called in as a witness. Yeah, that probably was a Rocky Horror reference. And hey, what's this? Steve Hutz. Steve and his wife are being interviewed about the Calamityville murders. Hey, we're familiar with these two. Diane and her husband are being questioned about the bodies that were found in their house. Carol Ann has accompanied her parents to the police station, and Russo has fallen asleep and woken up. And she's getting some coffee. Julie Wu. Julie keeps a little white rat as a pet. Isn't that nice? Smiley O'Connor, a no-good street punk. Homer Clinton, Homer's partner in crime to Smiley. Cameron Shaft. Cameron is used to being in jail. Ted Gable. The muscular leader of the Alpha Tau fraternity has ended up being bound over in jail for disorderly behavior. Oh, 
Matt Burke has ended up in jail along with his Avatar buddies for disorderly behavior. Their belief is awfully low for people who have been haunted. Obi-Wan Shinobi can scarcely believe he's ended up in jail for the night. Then we got Weasel Stratton again. He's, he's mostly responsible for the incident which got the four Alpha Taus in jail for the night. And then we have... Dr. Kraus. Investigating the disappearance of Dr. Kraus's wife, aka Moonscream, the police found disturbing experimental equipment hidden in Dr. Kraus's house and arrested him. And next to him, we have... I never meant to kill no one. But I guess I did, and I guess I deserve the chair because of it. Last one I was. Last to go on this chair, or local cops stop administering the juice. Now I'm stuck here. Got all this power, but nowhere to flow it. Hmm. I just keep crackling around this old chair. Can't seem to get out. This is Electrospasm. He is our second Wraith. And final Wraith. The part of Electrospasm, which was once Harold Smear's murderer, was all but burned up from him upon the electric chair. All that's left is a polite, apologetic spirit of punishment. Now, we could just have him use sparks, but I have a feeling that the chair he is bound to, uh, he's not going to be able to make good use of that. So, we're scaring off everyone, right? And a good way to get started with scaring in a haunting is to scare someone away. Now, let's see. Tremor. We got flower power and tremor from Stonewall here. Let's just bind him in here and get him spooked up. And uh, prepare yourselves. Banzai Discoverer. Servant to your noble cause. A royal spirit. Yeah, oof, didn't age so well. But, uh, this is Bonsai. The spirit of Bonsai has been nurtured for centuries by generations of Japanese gardeners. He is a philosophical elemental, undaunted by tasks of any size. He knows Quake. This might be important later. Trap freezes immortal's muscles so they cannot move. Twisted vines, creepers. Yeah, let's get started. Flower power is kicked in. And... We are... We've capitalized on... Salma of... That. And already our gremlin is ready. Oh man. Oh, how long? 
have I been sitting on that damn chair? All I ever dreamed of was freedom. And Carol Ann has already been scared off. Whoops. Real weird is, uh... Now a wasted slot. But, you know, it's fine. Because we have, a, we have an additional thing here. Now that leads us to... This. Now, I have a... F I have a feeling that... Huh. Feeling that we should get our friend Andrew Hayde kind of a uh, kind of out of the picture. All right. Pick on Officer Andrew Haid, you may roam. That is fine, Ranate. Chill out. Gig punch a day. Web all's out. Why are you down? Not use any of your powers if several mortals are present. But. Do not use any of your powers unless Andrew Haid. Is present. Not Norman friends. Came in and was disturbed by. Spooky flowers. Andrew Hayde, Andrew, buddy, there is a dog chasing you, and you're not phased in the slightest. We need to scare Hade off, man. This guy's as bent as my bullet hole badge. Get him over here! Aha! Uh -huh. We have our culprit. Uh, 
I'd read you your rights, scumbag, but you ain't got any. Hope the money was worth it, cause your soul ain't worth a dime. And just like that, he has been scared off. All right. And with that... We can now begin in earnest. Why do the... I don't know. Now these people are all a little bit spread out, spread out. Oh, yep. So's on her way to get her coffee. Now, the electrospasm has access to surge. Massive power surge causing malfunctions, electrocutions, and blown fuses. Ooh, this might be fun. Dr. Klugman's been chased off. So please. Alright, what was the thing? Vent cameras, uh, none. Sorry. Yeah, if you saw that, you'd run off, too. Oh, Obi-Wan Shinobi, bro! You've been scared.
now. Let's get Quake going on. And like that, I've destroyed a few fetters for electric things. Whoops. But it's let our prisoner men out. The professor has an ally. Oh, what is this we got going on here? Dr. Brunner. Almost nothing is known about this mysterious figure. Oh, Smiley, you got got, dude. There's an unfortunate side effect to just opening up the bars. Which is that... Uh... Dudes just leave?
Look, you're not chasing people enough. All right, yeah, Homer's out of there. out of there. Probably should not have taken Terrorize. I've made mistakes with this setup. It's fine, I will come back later, perhaps on screen or off, and do better. Steve Hutz is, like, not windy. He's not phased by anything. Hmm. Here is a fetter for some reason. Oh, there goes Frank. Steve, he heard the cacophony. Boom. So we've got all our guys. No banished haunters. A lot of scares, a lot of shocks and screams. But because we are later in the game, we get a bigger payout of Gold Plasm. Let's get some upgrades. We can upgrade Buck to full. So now that we have both of our raids, they, they obviously have the same sort of skill set as gremlins, but they also have access to a few uh, bigger amounts of spook. 
We have all of our apparitions. Wild geese, we're taking Lucky with us. get started on getting some good stuff for Hypnos. And alright then. Well, let's get hailstones, you never know. Might need it. We have only access to a level one thingy. Get some cold on terror eyes. All right, good sesh. It's time for our next level, dead fellows. <laughs> 